Oh my goodness, how absolutely mindless of me. I forgot for the previous video, I actually have a whiteboard here. I just wanted to space it out a little bit for emphasis. You know, let time pass, let you process things. So, I got this whiteboard here. We got this, uh, this diagram here. I'm gonna take a look at it and define some things. This marker here. So, let the camera get a good look at that first. Okay. So, let's point everything out. We got here three simulated universes in two dimensional diagrams, which isn't exactly accurate. You know, it's more like uh, I got this diagram over here, which is not a diagram, it's a sculpture. This is a more accurate example, but you can't exactly draw something 3D, you know, so this is the best we're going to work with. All the dimensions of reality exist in these circles here. And this green line, and this is time. This is what I've described as the train of time. Uh, the river of time as a way to visualize it. You know, it's just a thing that keeps going. Like, right now. What time is it? It's 9.33. And it's 9.33 and 37 seconds. 38 seconds. 39 seconds. In 20 seconds, it will be... Now, 15 seconds, it will be 9.34. In... Let's see here. 10 seconds, it will be 9.34. Uh, in 5 seconds, it'll be 9.34. And... And it's 9.34. Time has passed. There's a scientific demonstration of time. So, uh, this overall circle here, this is the game. You know, this is uh, the thing to, to break free of, as a way to put it. This is uh, Samsara Illustrated. Okay? Uh, the purple circle inside, this is mortal life. This is what you're experiencing right now, to be alive, because you are mortal and you are going to die. One day. Uh, and then the circle that's uh, beyond that, this is consciousness. Uh, you know, this is the fourth dimension as a way to work. So, we have here, like I said, these three circles. And this one up here, I've just decided to call this one Earth 32. 32 is my lucky number. I needed to figure out a way to, you know, put into words what this specific reality is. I just decided to call it Earth 32. All right? Down here, we have Earth-128, you know? And this is all I know. It seems like it's something straight out of the MCU. Uh, art imitates life, humans. That's the whole point. <laughs> Where do you think art comes from? So we got Earth-32 up here. We got Earth-128 down here. And we got uh, Mars-64 over here you know another universe where mars is populated and has things to do so normally the way that reincarnation works you uh, are a fourth dimensional unit of consciousness right you're about right here and then you bloop, 
into the game of life. Now here you are. You're alive. You're thinking, you're processing the world around you, you have a history to your life. You're an individual, but you are still the universe experiencing itself. That's reincarnation. Then you die. Like I said, you are going to die. Eventually. And then you're going to go back up to the fourth dimension. Boop. Just like that. <laughs> Maybe you didn't learn all the lessons you needed to learn in that life, right? Suppose that uh, you were wealthy, right? Let's just uh, come up with a scenario here. You were wealthy, you were gorgeous, uh, you had an ego the size of the planet itself, and you were just an overall piece of shit, right? Uh, when you die, you're going to get reincarnated again into a life that teaches you lessons that you did not learn in that previous life. You are probably going to incarnate uh, as a conventionally less attractive human being in a life of poverty. Again and again, you live, you die, you live, you die, over and over, just like that kind of looks like an atom as I'm drawing this. That's an interesting. I didn't even plan for that to be a thing. But that's what incarnation looks like for, I don't want to say lesser evolved units of consciousness, because that's that's just harsh. And that's, there's a, there's a better way to word it, you know? Um, People who are not Buddhas or Jesuses, you know, uh, for the common folk, that's what it looks like. Now, I'm going to use a different color here. Use uh, red. I do have a different color. I'm just going to use red. That's, that's good enough. So, uh, suppose in one of these timelines, in one of these lives, you realize what is. You realize what has been. And you realize what always will be. You reach a point in your life akin to a Buddha, where you reach enlightenment, as it's already been defined. When you die, blam, you end up you know, let's just say visually there, in the middle of all these universes. Now, here you are, you're like this ah, crazy consciousness that is all-powerful, divine. You then get to choose if you want to go back to Earth-32. You could, if you wanted to. You can get a bloop, and then you can learn some more lessons, uh, do whatever you want on Earth 32, or you could go bloop to Earth 128. And while on Earth 128, you incarnate again. Boom. And let's just suppose that on the first go-around, you know, it's just as successful as the one that brought you to that point of, like, um, 
divine evolution as a way to word it. You know, you incarnate into Earth 128, you're like this fucking, like, how does somebody like that exist? You know, where did you, did you drop out of the sky? What the fuck? Now, let's suppose you die again. And you incarnate again. You know, you're still divine. You're still grand. You still have this power of omniversal travel. Now, suppose on the second go around here, suppose you miss a lesson. Suppose on this second go-round in Earth-128, uh, the very thing that uh, brought you to full enlightenment is something that you missed. Uh, and brought you to full enlightenment in Earth-32 is something that you missed in Earth-128. I missed a, a few words there. So, uh, you then have to learn again, and again, and again, only in Earth-128, because that's where you're at now. That's where you chose to be. And you lost your powers, and you can't go anywhere else. So you have to learn there specifically. And eventually, you know, eventually, it's rather inevitable, law of averages, you get your powers back, right? And then you bloop back out, and you can go anywhere you want. And that includes to, again, Mars 64 if you want. You know, let's just go down here. Fuck it. What's going on in this alternate Mars? There's, like, societies there? Like, in our timeline, it's just a crusty-ass, dusty-ass planet. But in this timeline, in this timeline, there's... It's bustling. You know? Same deal. You incarnate there. You live a life, and if you miss a lesson, you are stuck on Mars 64 in the reincarnative cycle in which you will live and die and remember and forget all over and over and over and over and over again and over 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 again until eventually you reach enlightenment again. And then, bloop, back out into the center. And it's all free form once more. In theory, of course. In theory. That is... Let me show the camera here. Get one last money shot. The visualization of the previous video. And something I didn't even mention, if you want to go further into semantics, is that in this reincarnative cycle, I don't think it's locked by time. And I mentioned this in uh, the previous video, too. I had like a little diagram, like 1800, uh, 1900. So let's do something like that here. Right? Suppose that this is 1800. Suppose that this is 2200. You know? And we're about right here in 2024. In this process, perhaps the lessons that you need to learn cannot be achieved 
in, say, you were born in the 1800s, right? Let's say you, you did a, let's say you did a cycle in the, the 1800s. You did a run, rather, in the, in the 1800s, you know? The conditions of that era simply did not provide what you needed. Or maybe it did, but you still didn't get it. And so, you end up going to a different era that could be more uh, applicable, words, enunciation, more applicable uh, to the lessons that you need to learn. Perhaps, perhaps, you live one life in the 1800s and you could better learn the lessons that you need to learn in 2100, say. Here. Same deal. Suppose you still don't learn those lessons. So suppose uh, you go from 2100 to, all right, maybe, maybe 1999 might work. You know, maybe that might work. Let's try 1999. And so you try 1999. And then you live a life from 1999 to whatever year. And you see if you can learn what you need to learn while you're in that era. And if you don't, if you can't, which you technically can, always, then you just try again. in a different era. Time travel. The reality of it. In theory, of course. In theory. So, that's a thing. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm gonna eat this, uh, I made myself this sandwich here, it's got some tomatoes on it, avocado, some roasted garlic hummus on this everything grain toast, I got some power greens mix here, why are the greens more powerful than all the others, why do they get that kind of label, I don't even know. But they do. They're powerful greens. And I put them on my sandwich. I'm going to eat my dinner here. I'm going to watch some TV. And then I'm going to continue living. Just as you will. Hope you have a wonderful moment. I bid you adieu. <laughs> Au revoir.